morning it's monday morning and it's time for your girl's favorite part of the day it is time for some breakfast i'm starving can you believe these apricots are actually from my neighbor's garden My favorite mix is one of these plain protein yogs and also a fig, walnut and cereal activia. Bang in. And breakfast is served. How quick is that? Presentation, meh. But taste incredible and it's so quick and easy. So, you know what? Enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing tastes nicer than fresh fruit. is basically breakfast part two because I just love breakfast. It's dinner time and I think we're gonna make something with some aubergine. Sometimes I say eggplant, sometimes I say aubergine. Same thing. <laughs> How bomb, how bomb. My hair is a mess. Guys, it is Tuesday and do you know what Tuesday means here? Farmer's market. It's funny because I feel like farmer's markets are usually on a Sunday, but for some reason here it's on a Tuesday. And today's fit. Just put on some cycling shorts and a bra and then also have this cute, cute little knitted bag. And we are ready to go. stripping the moment I walked in because I don't know what was going on in my head when I thought that wearing a shirt in this weather was a smart idea. Clearly back from the farmer's market and I feel like I kind of brought it home with me and I am in heaven right now. I think there is nothing I love more than going grocery shopping or going to the farmer's market because for some reason it just gives me like some other kind of peace. Today's success is that we actually stocked up on my berries which I like to freeze myself. I get them fresh and I freeze them because frozen berries here are really expensive. Usually these are very limited numbers here at the farmers market so we woke up extra early today to make sure we were there in time before they ran out and the girl managed to stock up on some raspberries and some blackberries or some smoothie bowls throughout the week ended up getting a big head of lettuce arugula some strawberries now this is actually i think this is called purple basil but it smells incredible and i love it in my salad and it's also really nice when it's dried up like a herb i love this blackberries raspberries a bunch of banana some mint 
parsley, dragon fruit. I don't think I've seen dragon fruit here before, so when I saw it, I just had to. Some basil, red cabbage, and then we've got some cherries over here. A whole load of peaches because your girl loves her peaches here. They're delicious. Some fresh cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, and also some plums. Got some of this as well. I don't actually know what it's called. Glass wart or marsh samphire. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's so good. It looks kind of weird and funky, but it makes an incredible dip. We've got some purslane, and I'm pretty sure that sums up all that we've got. And now, your girl has to put this all away, okay? chocolate cherry porridge and she did not disappoint she's so pretty i want to devour it but i don't want to ruin it so i don't know why i always do this to myself my spoon is also stained from all the berries that i have cheers mm. you can never go wrong with oats like ever it is so good it is so good mm. cowboy caviar we need to try it out okay the real cowboy caviar and how it's made but I just went with the flow and it looks good Girl got caught up in some editing, some reading, and mum's made some dinner. And she's made my favorite. <laughs> mm. If you don't know, Asama is stuffed by him. I'm pretty sure there's a similar variation in most cultures. We can all agree that it is amazing. Good morning. Breakfast time. <laughs> Who says you can't have pizza for breakfast? Alrighty, so I am back from the beach, clearly, as you can tell, and I'm hungry and it's time for some lunch. The pizza toast actually kept me full for quite a while, and I may or may not have snacks on a few fruits at the beach. So I'm a little late on lunch today, but your smart girl over here prepped some chia pudding and put it in the fridge last night. It's a very simple coconut flavoured chia pudding recipe. I always do the same one and I'll have it down in the description. This is why I love meal prepping stuff because when you've been at the beach all day long, the last thing you want to do is make a meal. So you can just whip out of the fridge, top it off with some granola, some peanut butter, some fresh fruit 
and you are ready to go. <laughs> But this is literally one of my favorite snacks here now. Mmm, mmm. dining tables but for some reason this spot over here at the coffee table is just my favorite the lettuce that we got from the farmers market was literally calling my name because it just looked too pretty and it looked perfect for some lettuce wraps which is what we've got for tonight's dinner top it off with some chicken some carrots cabbage red pepper avocado we've got a lovely yogurt dip and of course some sesame seeds because why not So it is Thursday morning and I've already done my morning walk, put my hair back, got a little ready, also made myself a collagen. Now I have been trying out some collagen powders recently. I've tried quite a few and I've even tried putting it into my coffee. For some reason I couldn't really stomach any of them, they taste really funny. I think I finally found one which actually tastes good and it's this pink drink right here the one i've been enjoying now is by my protein and it's like a grapefruit flavored one which is why it's pink well i swear grapefruit are kind of more reddish but whatever and it tastes like i'm having juice or like squash you know so yeah that's the one i've been drinking sometimes when i have it in the morning sometimes i have it at night usually it is at night but i thought i'd show you guys as well cheers just down it all, okay? To be honest, you could throw some ice in there and slowly sip it like juice, but I just prefer to down it all in one go. Because the thought makes me feel a bit queasy. It's not the taste, it's the thought about what it is. But it's good for you, so it's okay. Anyways, time for some breakfast. Oh, by the way, P.S. are we liking the hair? I thought I'd go for something different. I never have my hair up, I always have it down because having it down is my comfort zone. But I have the habit of always trying to push myself out of my comfort zone, which is why we're trying something different. How cute are these shorts? They've got little sunflowers on them. So cute. Breakfast. I'm, holy shit. Today's breakfast. We've got some delicious avocado. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
okay, we're okay, we're okay. I nearly dropped them all. So we've got some delicious chickpea and avocado crackers. I love chickpeas, but I had stopped having them for a while because they're, they act a little funny in my belly. They don't always sit well with me. So I don't have them as often as I would like, which is a shame because I love hummus and hummus is the same because obviously hummus is chickpeas. But I couldn't help it. I was really craving this today. So yeah, bon appetit. I would have made a peaches and cream version, but I had no frozen peaches, so aside it is. Yo bestie, it's dinner time. Don't mind me, just sipping my tea. For tonight's dinner, I think we're gonna have a pasta night and we're gonna try something different. I'm kind of making this up. I don't know if there's actually a recipe like this. We're actually gonna make purslane pesto pasta. Purslane pesto pasta. We're just looking at my purslane, so pretty. It's summer, it's summer. I'm so excited to try this. Mmm. Oh, that is delish. That is so good. You see the person, it's kind of like lemony, like tangy. So along with the lemon, the tahini, it makes a perfect pasta sauce, perfect. Good morning. Now this weird looking thing right here is actually cold brew coffee. I tried making it at home for the first time. I think it was three cups of ground coffee with like six cups of cold water. Mixed it in a jug, popped it in the fridge overnight and then to like strain it because I didn't have a cheesecloth. Do you know what I've done? I literally used our filter coffee machine. Since it has its own like built in filter, I just poured the coffee straight into here from the jug and it filtered it out perfectly. I did that twice and it literally worked perfectly and then I just emptied it out into an old bottle because the glass jug took up too much space in the fridge, okay? And we've got some cold brew coffee and it tastes beautiful. Anyway, with our coffee in our hand, we're gonna make some lunch now and we're actually gonna try something new. I love trying new things, okay? I like to take the risk. Even if it doesn't work out, we like to try something new, which is why we are going to try and make our own lentil wraps. Soaked overnight. Mm. What? 
you best run to your kitchen and try this right now. I'm speechless. Mm -hmm. off with a lovely lovely ice cream did start off the summer having way more ice cream but then i got really bad tonsillitis and now to be honest i'm just too scared okay so i stick to like one a week or something anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed this week's what i eat in a week it has been a while since we've done one of these make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and i will see you guys soon with a new video Mwah. bye <laughs>